In this video, we're going to cover 10 hacking skills a professional hacker must have in 2022. Hey guys, it's John here from Top 10. Welcome to Top 10 channel. We show you technology like Top 10 hacking skill, programming language, Top 10 countries, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just live on the comment down below. So, let's get started. Having hacking skills is crucial when considering several job roles related to protecting an organization's online properties. The professionals working on these activities manage the particular company's machines, networks, and servers. Joining a hacker course can help you scale up your career ladder and find better pay. However, you can also consider other cybersecurity courses that offer a lucrative job opportunity with a good salary if you're not looking for a hacking certification. The question arises of how a person can become a hacker. So let's check into some of the most important skills needed to become a hacker. The first skill you need is Computer skills Hacking involves exploiting computer systems to locate potential threats. Therefore, having a firm and sound knowledge of computers is one of the skills needed for hacking. And hacker needs to be a computer systems expert. Computer hacking skills allow one to use computers and computer technology to become a hacker. You must have the basic knowledge of hacking. Having basic computer skills can help an ethical hacking aspirant be a successful hacker. The basic computer skills include processing data, computer file management, and creating presentations. Advanced computer skills include managing databases, programming, and doing calculations and spreadsheets. Some of the essential computer skills are MS Office, including all its programs, spreadsheets, email, database management, social media, web, etc. The second skill you need is networking skills. To become a hacker, you need networking skills. A computer network is nothing more than a collection of hosts connected through multiple paths to send and receive data. Besides understanding DHCP, supernetting, subnetting, and more, ethical hackers will be able to comprehend the various interconnected computers within a network along with any potential threats they may pose. You can learn ethical hacking skills and become a successful hacker by knowing network models, internet protocols, and IP addresses. You should also be familiar with routers, servers, clients, transmission media, access points, shared data and network interface card, etc. A third skill you need is programming language skills. Coding skills are also fundamental to becoming a hacker. It includes writing code, which can be interpreted by a computational device to perform a variety of instructions. So, to get better at programming, you must write a great deal of code. Moreover, choosing the right programming language is the first step in writing code. The following list includes the most common programming languages that ethical hackers use. Python, PHP, Perl, Java, Ruby, JavaScript, SQL, CM, C++. I recommend it to start with Python. If you are not familiar with these programming languages, it is wise to learn them. So, with the help of these languages, hackers can quickly locate system and application vulnerabilities. Wait, before continue this video, I would like to tell you guys this channel idea is to know everything best and amazing things. I put a lot of effort to this videos to make sure what is best. So I would appreciate to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to like and leave comment down below. Let's get back to the video. The fourth skill you need is problem solving skills. A hacker should be a strategic thinker and creative problem solver. Apart from the technological skills pointed out above, problem solving skills allow one to assess and find an appropriate solution to the root of a problem. Problem solving ranks high on any employer's list of must of cybersecurity skills. At its root, Cybersecurity is about identifying security issues and finding ways to solve or defend against them. Understanding how to effectively approach a problem and work toward discovering its solution will make you well prepared for a career as a cybersecurity professional. The fifth skill you need is Knowledge in Cryptography Cryptography knowledge is another area a hacker should be skilled in. Cryptography is the study and use of techniques in the presence of third parties called adversaries for secure communication. 
It deals with creating and analyzing protocols that prevent the exchange of information between two entities by malicious third party. Thus, pursuing the various aspects of information security, cryptography involves translating a standard text, message known as plain text to a non-readable type known as ciphertext throughout the transmission. A hacker must ensure no leakage of contact between various entities within the organization. The sixth skill you need is social engineering. Hackers have a common tendency to use tricks such as social engineering, phishing, and trojans to access personal information. Social engineering is the psychological manipulation of users to perform actions or give away confidential personal information that may threaten the business. Social engineering is a popular tactic among attackers because it is often easier to exploit people than it is to find a network or software vulnerability. Hackers will often use social engineering tactics as a first step in a larger campaign to infiltrate a system or network and steal sensitive data or disperse malware. The seventh skill you need is Linux skills. Linux is a free and open source operating system based on the Linux kernel. The source code of Linux can be modified and distributed to anyone commercially or non-commercially under the GNU General Public License. The main reason why Learn Linux for hackers is its security. Linux is more secure than any other operating system. Although 100% security is not guaranteed for Linux, it has some malware which makes it less vulnerable than any other operating system. Furthermore, it does not require any antivirus software. Therefore, it is crucial to have Linux skills for hacking. The eighth skill you need is Reverse Engineering Skill. Reverse engineering is a process of recovering the design, requirement specifications, and functions of a product from an analysis of its code. It builds a program database and generates information from this. The objective of reverse engineering is to expedite the maintenance work by improving the understandability of a system and to produce the necessary documents for a legacy system. And software security. Reverse engineering is widely used to ensure that the system lacks any major security flaws or vulnerabilities. It helps to make a system robust, thereby protecting it from hackers and spyware. Some developers even go as far as hacking their system to identify vulnerabilities a system referred to as ethical hacking. The ninth skill you need is hardware basic skill. A computer's hardware consists of the physical components, including the processor, monitor, mouse, input device, hard drive, video card, audio card, speakers, and mainboard. The software is the set of instructions stored and executed by the hardware. Consider, for example, hacking a computer-controlled machine. To do so, they need to understand the machine. Finally, they need to access the computer that controls the machine. Although the machine will now have a very good software security system, hackers do not care about hardware security so they can play with it if they can access the hardware. Without knowledge of hardware, you can't know how the motherboard works, how USBs transfer data, how CMOS or BIOS work together, etc. Being an ethical hacker also requires some understanding of hardware. The last or tenth skill you need is wireless connection technology. To hack wireless technology, you must first understand how it works. You have to understand things like security algorithms, four-way handshake encryption protocol, and WPS. Also, you need to know things like connection protocols and how to authenticate. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and share them with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or feedback, then please drop a comment. And which one is best for you? Drop on the comment.